when the world war came to an end, women are now already in the workplace. Economic powers are very, very nice to have, to earn your own money. A second wave of feminism uh, came about, and this wave of feminism primarily concentrated not on economic or political matters, but on sexuality. Third wave of feminism has split up into many, many substrands. So much so, as I said, that some strands of feminism, of modern feminism, are strongly opposed to other modern strands of feminism. So there's a lot of ikhtilaf in the madhab now. Clear-cut calls for complete equality in all areas. So a woman will be promoted sometimes just because she's a lady. And this is now basically a positive thing for most companies, that they want to promote a lady, even if there might be a more qualified man, but because she's a lady, so they want to demonstrate their diversity and their tolerance. The 90s saw the rise of religious feminism within the churches and the synagogues. For the first time, women demanded the right to be at the pulpit. Feminists themselves are extremely divided when it comes to pornography and prostitution. Okay, these two things, they're extremely divided. Another major wave of feminism now within modern feminism is the issue of violence against women. Uh, and of course, we also have other strands that are uh, extremely raunchy and vulgar, uh, such as this uh, feminine movement um, uh, that are some of you are familiar with. And the point is, is there an Islamic equivalent? Can we argue for the rights of women within the paradigm of Islam.